you guys wash your hands? Every flu season, Dr. Dennis Cunningham spends time talking to kids about prevention. An expert on infectious diseases at Nationwide Children's Hospital, he says if there's one group that catches, carries, and infects more than any other, it's them. Germs are pretty easy to pass around, and flu is really contagious. It's very easy for one child to give it to another child, and next thing you know, they bring it home. And they can bring it home purely by contact. Myth number one is that the flu is only spread by sneezing. In truth, this demonstration shows how quickly kids can spread almost anything. These toys are dusted with a powder invisible under normal light, but after sharing the toys for just a few minutes, you can see with black lights just how much the powder, like a virus, has spread. Myth number two is that you should wait until it's cold outside to get your flu vaccine. Turns out vaccinating people even in August will protect them throughout the entire flu season. This also includes the elderly who typically have been the group people were most worried about. Myth number three is that flu vaccines don't protect you from current strains, but researchers work hard to stay one step ahead of the virus. Every year there's two A strains that are picked and one B strain of influenza. So we're going to be protected against everything that's likely to circulate. Finally, the myth that you can actually catch the flu from a flu vaccine. Cunningham says the vaccine can make you achy and leave your arm sore, but it's not the flu. True influenza, someone is sick in bed for a week. High, high fevers, achiness, everything hurts. Something you can likely avoid by using a healthy dose of common sense. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.